Hi, I'm here at Alton Park. Um, I've been with James Dunn all day. He's an ox athlete. We've been doing some filming, some really, really nice stuff that hopefully you'll see before too long. And actually, it's a really great opportunity to talk about James's bike, which is an absolute fire-breathing ZX-10R Kawasaki. I really like the look of it, but it's also a bit of a beast as well. So James, maybe tell us a little bit about the bike, if you don't mind. Um, yeah, it's a 2014 bike. Um, it's got a, a lot of power on it. It's got a yeah. it's got a kit ECU, kit loom, and a thinner head gasket as well. So it's sort of sort of built to 2015 BSB stock thousand spec on it. Um, it's got Mupo front suspension and a rear shock on it as well. Okay. Um, they're a, an Italian manufacturer manufacturer, um, yeah. and it's it's just really good stuff. I was running it on the. Ducati I was on last year in the Ducati Tri Options Cup and um, and the suspension work for me. They're then. 899s aren't they? Yeah, 899 I was on, they're now 959 as well. Right, so. okay, but the, but the difference between that and jumping on this ZX-10 oh, is like... it's mental, it's like pulling my arms out the socket it? and that. Yeah, I think I need to hit the gym a bit more, you know. <laughs> well, actually well, put on a bit gym. of beef. But no, well yeah, no, there, right. there, there is that, put a, bit, put a bit of meat on my arms, you know, they're a bit <laughs> like toothpicks at the moment. But um, but yeah, it's uh, it's just it's savage. Like the bike can do so much more, and it's the most modern thousand I've ever ridden on on a track. Yeah. Um, and it it just handles fantastic. It's got bags of power, and um, yeah, I just it's just phenomenal, really. It's it's awesome bike, really good bike, and that that's great. Obviously, you know we're at a race day, so you can hear a ton of bikes going past and what have you. But hopefully, that kind of adds to the character of the uh, review, actually. And the other thing we were talking about before, you're running Michelin tyres, right? Yeah, I'm running Michelin tyres and, and everything, so I'm, I'm supported by Michelin this year as well. Um, you know, and probably the, the best front end feel I've had out of any bike as well, just from that. You know, the rears the rears are brilliant as well. You know, the, and just the grip levels are quite insane really so it's, it's, I'm, I'm happy with them. I mean I think one of the things that, 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 that personally I've been quite surprised at and maybe it's because I haven't been for a race meet for a while but you know the Michelin man literally has been here like after every practice session you know just checking pressures checking everything's okay is it, is it gripping okay is the you know is the is the temperature right it, you know the support I've been quite impressed, basically. You know. Yeah, um, Michelin are here in, in quite a you know quite a strong capacity, really. They yeah. they also sponsor the GP1, um, and they you know they're sort of using us who who race on them to develop the tyres as well for the, you know the mass market. Yeah. Um, you know for your track day riders in, and other racers as well. So you know we we're giving them feedback and they're assisting and working with us because they want the best out of the tyres. You know. Sure. And, and getting the best out of the tyres, it gets the best out of us as well. Absolutely. You know? Well, and you, and, and you know, you can tell that. And you know, obviously, your feedback has been really good about how it's handled this weekend. Yeah. So it's also got a quick shifter on it as well. Yeah, yeah. The old nearly quick, fell off this morning. The old quick shifter, because uh, you know, just like at Donington, I didn't tighten my foot pegs up again. So, <laughs> you know, but it's all done now. It's locked tight as well. Yeah. Um, and it's uh, hopefully not going to give me any more problems this weekend. But so far, so good. Um, and which, which brakes are you using? Uh, Brembo brakes, uh, Brembo yeah. discs. Sorry, with standard calipers, uh, TRW pads, and Hell freight lines, which have been yeah. supplied by Hell as well so um, they, you know they've helped with that fantastic and, and power that this is kicking out it's about 196 horsepower at the rear wheel 96 yeah, yeah that's phenomenal yeah, yeah. that's it so it's quite a strong motor warp, in this warp speed say again warp speed that's it yeah it's a bit too quick at the moment for me so but i'll get i'll get used to it yeah, yeah we'll get used okay. to it okay well that's great so thanks james for taking us through the zx10r that you've got um, i actually really like the color of it as well you know i, I really like the fact that it's blacked out 
so many um, you know kind of race bikes are just like sponsorship logos all over it but actually this is actually quite sleek it looks pretty stealthily when you're flying down the start and finish which I think is pretty sick yeah it's also the cheapest paint you can yeah, buy right, a glass okay. back <laughs> <laughs> so you know and you can touch it up with a sharpie when you give it a sling down the road as okay well. yeah, okay well it. there's method in the uh, yeah. In the, the madness, madness as well then yeah. yeah that's awesome so thanks again for taking us through the bike no and what it i suppose what it takes to take a take a stock bike and all the changes that you've got to do and what you've got to kind of put on it to make it competitive in a championship such as the um one that you're racing in yeah spot on okay so thanks again cheers